Today we're going to be breaking down how to create these trippy effects to end out music videos, so let's get right into it. So I got my clip here, this is where the music video is going to end. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to start off by adding on this effect called Luma Key. And then right when he pulls his chain out like that, I'm going to set a keyframe for threshold and then drag it out just a bit. I want this variation to be a little bit quicker. And then right here, you're going to bring up the threshold value and it's a really cool effect. So then you're going to easy ease those keyframes and you have something that looks like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and increase the feather to nine. It's a really good effect, but we can make it way better. So we're going to add on this effect called CC scale wipe. Set the stretch and center at zero where this luma key value keyframe is. And then we're going to actually change the direction to 180, so not zero. And then increase the stretch so that it does something like this. We're going to put it not much right around there. 1.4 is good enough for me. And then as it slowly zooms out, bring the center up like that. Highlight those keyframes, F9 to easy ease. It doesn't look like how I want it to look, so I'm just gonna play with these keyframes, drag them out a little bit, and there we go, it's looking pretty trippy. Let's see how Chromatic Aberration looks. This is a Universe plugin. Set a keyframe right around here for distortion amount at zero. Bring down the radial blur, bring down all the effects, and then as it slowly goes out, we'll just start increasing the distortion amount. And then as you see here, you can play with the scale, make it smaller, make it bigger as it fades out. I think I'll make it a little bit smaller like that. And now you have something that looks like this. And as always, don't just do exactly what I do. If you guys have these effects, Play with all of the values. I suggest that you do that for pretty much everything that you ever do in After Effects. It's important that you understand the programs and it's important that you play around with it yourself to find what best works for your effects and so that you find what best works for your videos. So let's get this shit. And usually typically whenever you don't put your own spin on it, your family doesn't love you. Let's try adding on some Sapphire Distort next. That is a Sapphire plugin. Keyframe the amount right around here before the effects come in at zero and then of course, as it goes down and out, increase the amount. And that's where you can play with the blur lens, which gives you something like that. And you can play with the rotate, which gives you something like that. And as always, render out your clips in quarter instead of in full. It'll speed up your editing process. Trust me, easy, easier keyframes or I'll find you. And now it looks something like this. It looks like he's actually melting. And now I'm going to go ahead and just pre-compose this whole layer. So I'm going to go ahead and do control shift C. That's the quickest way to do it. There's not a faster way to do it. I'm going to drag on some deep glow, set it to zero there. As it comes out, increase the glow like that. And a way that you can make it slightly shinier is by duplicating this layer, splitting that layer with control shift D adding on this effect called emboss glass. And look at that, that looks pretty crazy. When you play with the bumps scale and the bumps threshold, you can do a bunch of crazy things with it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is keyframe the bumps threshold at the beginning at one, and then as it kind of comes out, decrease the threshold like that. So it gives it a bit more of a liquidy looking effect. And then it's important also to play with the brightness because when you put embossed glass on there, it's going to bring the brightness down. And this is another Sapphire plugin, by the way. I highly recommend getting it if you don't have it. The reason that I duplicated the layer and split it was because I wanna bring down down the opacity so it's going to be a very slight liquidy feel to everything so this is what it's going to look like when i bring down the opacity to about 46 percent when i approximately bring down the opacity to 46 percent it's going to look way better you're actually going to become the best editor on the whole internet i'm such an editing nerd if you guys like stuff like this if you like trippy stuff like this i suggest the shockwave distortion pack from my website jamovfx.com it is the best pack out there right now for trippy overlays and whatnot it has 70 plus overlays i put months into building it for you guys if you guys mess with my content i know you'll mess with that and it's 30 percent off and if you type in discount code shock you'll get i believe 10 percent might even be 15%, but I mean, that's an extra discount. Follow me everywhere on everything and yeah, get out of here, bro. What are you still doing? You should be grinding. You should be hustling. You should be, you should be becoming the next best editor in the game.